Hey, I'm Michael Fedland. I'm an international attorney by training, been in nearly 50 countries, actually predicted 9-11 on TV a decade before it happened. Proof is here. But they, uh, could they become active now as the bombs are away? Well, we have live with us now Michael uh, Fetland. He is a Houston international attorney who helped uh, make U.S. companies and helped set up their operations in the troubled regions over the past 15 years or so. He's also writing a book on terrorism. Uh, Mr. Fetland, let me ask you first, is, is Houston in any immediate threat? Let's first of all talk about the people of Houston. The only potential threat to Houston at this point w would be is if Saddam Hussein wanted to attack our oil refining capabilities. I would think that it would be more likely to see him attack a political target more than an economic target here. Mm -hmm. uh, probably the uh, Washington. I, I was writing about a uh, terrorist attack by someone like Saddam. Mm -hmm. against Washington when all this happened. And, it was and now I can predict that within a very short time, we're going to have evidence that our president is actually the Manchurian candidate working for Russia as a Russian agent. I hesitate to say that because that's a big, big deal, but unfortunately, the evidence is piling up that shows only one conclusion. Starting with the 2016 campaign, the Russian uh, contacts by Trump's people were over a hundred contacts when you're trying to get American votes. How weird is that? During 2016, it turns out, and we'll find out for sure from Michael Cohen, that Trump was trying to negotiate a Moscow hotel deal. Yeah, never told about it. That's when he was saying, I don't know Russia. I don't know anything about Russia. Comes the the fact is, he's been going to Russia since 1987. He had a beauty pageant there. B.S. He's been working with Russia a long time. In fact, because Trump bankrupted all of his companies, and including a casino, which is a hell of a feat, um, it was Russian money that saved him because the U.S. banks wouldn't loan to him anymore because he never paid them back. Hello? But the Russians were putting hundreds of millions of dollars into Trump's pocket to buy the high-priced real estate they were using after they looted the Russian economy, take the money out, grab part of it, run to high-end real estate, and there it is. Another evidence of Trump's cooperation with Putin is that he's taken the Putin line on all the foreign policy. He was pro-Brexit, which is going to hurt England going to hurt our trade to England, make it harder for us to sell more things to England. Bad deal. He's wanting to pull us out of Syria, another Putin initiative. He hates NATO, another Putin idea. He is hating on the EU, the European Union. Hello, the largest collection of democracies in the world since World War II, keeping peace and stability is the EU. Trump even hates that. I mean, how crazy for a president is that? Now we have Trump doing a couple more things. A very odd for American president. He's spending zero funds to protect against our election system from being hacked yet again. On top of that, he's pushing to re re lift the sanctions against the Russian oligarchs who have sanctions because of Putin invading Ukraine and taking the Crimea and we're trying to get him to behave himself and that's what the sanctions are all about. Trump wants to remove those. Guess what? No sanctions, no problem. Putin can poison people in England, no problem. Saudi king, crown prince can, you know, cut up a journalist with a bone saw, no problem. Very bizarre for an American president to even talk about that. So we need to know exactly how much business Trump does with the Russians, and we won't know that until we have his tax returns. The only president in 40 years who has not leveled with American people and submitted his tax returns for public scrutiny. Hello. We also want to know what are the reason, what are in the notes that Trump hid from his own top officials after his five meetings with Putin. What American president hides the notes of a private one-on-one -on -one meeting with our top government adversary unless he's hiding something of a deal that they made that they don't want us to find out about? Trump is 
into Russia up to his eyeballs. He is the Manchurian president. He's working for Putin. He's not working for America. And this really needs to end soon. Either be impeached or the 25th Amendment invoked because the man can't even put two words together and make sense. And he's destroying our economy by now shutting down the government. Another thing that Putin would just rave about because, oh, it's an emergency. Well, for two years, the Republicans have had total control, and they didn't pass any $5 billion for a wall. But come kind of January 1, it's now such an emergency. I have to shut down the government and hurt all these people because it's a big problem. Two weeks after two years makes no – it's kabuki theater. It's BS. You can't believe a word he says. In fact, his own book said, you lie three times and they'll believe it. What kind of moral grounding for a president is that? That you lie so they believe you? That's not American values. So final thought here is that we need to get to the bottom of the Trump train, find out how much he's influenced by Putin, find those notes, get his tax returns, and you know what? Let's get ourselves a real American president instead of a Russian one.